Hey guys, what's going on? Druzy here, back again with another South Park Phone Destroyer video, and we're back on the free-to-play account here today to make yet another video with it playing some gameplay, because I've been, as you've noticed on the channel here, on a kick lately of making content. I've made daily content, I think, now for five or six days in a row, which I don't think I've done on the channel here since I've been on here, but I've been really motivated to make consistent content almost every day. I'm like, man, I really want to work on another video, and I think a lot of that is, had, is due to the fact that a lot of content creators lately that I watch on YouTube myself have been making content consistently as well. Uh, some of it are, is not South Park Phone Destroyer uh, content creator, some of it is other content that I do watch on a regular basis here on YouTube, uh, but Pharaoh TV is starting to make content again, or just Pharaoh I think is now what he goes by on YouTube, he's a great South Park Phone Destroyer content creator from Germany, he's really fun to watch, Blig is back making videos constantly, I am going to call out two guys, Average Guy 777 and Jake BKKA are really not making stuff anymore, maybe that's different reasons as to doing that, but I mean I remember when I first started making content for this, there was maybe like six or seven people that were really high strung into making constant content for South Park Phone Destroyer and then a lot of those people have kind of dropped off the face of the earth or just off YouTube pretty much all together but maybe just a couple days a week make stuff and you know again everybody's got different lives different things that they do and reasons for it I'm just saying I'd like to see more South Park Phone Destroyer content I've seen some people try to get into it now after the game's now been out for how long's it been now it, it released November so what, it's been eight months since the game launched? Nine months almost since the game launched? But, uh, you know, if you want to make it on YouTube, you got to do a lot of different things to make this work for you. I've had a lot of fun doing it, and I'm enjoying doing it. That's why I'm going to continue making content on a daily basis as much as I can until I lose that motivation. But the main thing we're going to do today is play some content, obviously, and then afterwards I want to talk about something else to wrap up the video real quickly. I hope you guys enjoyed the weekend event. It was a long one and a good one. And tempid turkey water. Tempid turkey water. Apparently enjoyed it. He did at least get the first part of the um, firecracker costume or whatever you want to call it. Let's start with Gunslinger Kyle in the back. This is the same deck that I used on Snoozy last time. So we'll see if it's still relatively successful. Or if it's not. We'll just see that. Which it actually is. Let's uh, increase this damage output. Kill that faster. Let's get rid of deckhand cutters. Let's waste Cartman's charge. And then Tempa Turkey Water is just going to do his thing. And lose his first bar. And that's called doing your thing. It's losing the first bar. That's called. Let's kill Astro Butters. Get this poison out here. Hopefully it goes to Heidi. It should go to Heidi. It does not. It goes to Hokan Clyde. That's not what I wanted. You poisoned, but I terraced after you poisoned. So you didn't get the full effect of what you were probably going for there, Tepa Turkey. I'm hoping this video has positive vibes, because again, I'm having a lot of positivity making content and stuff again, so I'm hoping that the video stays positive. I'm afraid with the last video how it went with playing in uh, the lower level arenas uh, with the free to play account, I was getting wrecked by people. So, hoping that the uh, positivity and stuff continues, but we'll see. Level 3 Robo Baby, that is nasty. At this low level, sir. Getting close to double energy. I feel like I'm just randomly setting down units, probably not being strategic in my placement here. You lightning bolted program stand. There's some aspects of this game you might need to learn there, Tempa Turkey. I mean, that's all dead. That's dead also. And now I've got Ike untouched. Gonna get to this new kid. And that's a second bear. Now we're just going to play the defensive game here. He's got multiple spells, so I have to be careful. And he's got a secret spell right there with the Marine Craig action. There's the poison, so I don't have to worry about that. I just have to worry about Lightning Bolt now. The only spell left to worry about. Watch Sally go down. 
Let's take care of Butters die. Let's freeze that up. And that's a win. So at least we win with the first match here. Three bar victory. Good game. And nice outfit. You must hit him with a good game nice outfit. I mentioned that yeah, I think my last video or a couple videos ago. I don't remember. I've made so many of them. I don't remember how many videos I've made recently. Let's open up some lockers. Please get keys. Get a freeze ray. Don't want that. But, you know, let's just go into the second match here. We're up to 21. So a new high. 21 one star. And now we're probably just going to run to level 10s. I have a strong feeling in my gut that this is going to be level 10 new kid right here. It's coming. I feel like it's coming right now. And I'm nervous about it. I'm nervous. Am I right? You're going to make me wait longer? Come on, game. Don't do this to me. Don't play with put games with my heart. Footloose. Librarian. I want to... It's not Librarian. It's not Footloose Librarian. That would be way cool, though. That's a level 8 new kid, so not quite as bad as I thought. I was nervous for nothing, guys. I was nervous for nothing. Really needed you to poison Bebe, though. That would have been super cute. That. No, don't poison everybody. Leave them alone. We're gonna stand decimate your face. Get rid of this Nelly. I right, get a hit. There we go. You got a hit. You're gonna kill Butters, aren't you? No, you're not gonna kill Butters. Butters will die, though. Soon enough. Let's get Cartman in the back. Why did I feel like that was a Dougie play? It was a dog poo, so that's not quite as bad. Totally thought for a second it was a Dougie play. It's okay, these rats will easily counter him. Let's get an alien Clyde to deal with this storyteller Jimmy. I'm gonna wait for you to attack Cartman and then put Sally down to kill you in one hit. Oh, Sally, you can take this bar. You can do it. No, don't become a snake. You're supposed to do the thing. That's good, not the bad one. That's gonna do damage to Bebe, too, and take the bar down. making this too easy for me. I'll wait till Bebe attacks, and then I'll just kill her before she does too much damage. Uh, I feel like I shouldn't have charged Dyke up there, but I need to get a little bit more poke on Cartman. Do this. Put this off to the side. Get butters in here. Should whack away there. Get some nice kill. Butters doing charging up Kyle. I need Kyle to live. I need Kyle to live. Kyle, boost up Terrence Mephesto. Oh, just missed it. Just missed it. Terrence, get out of the new kid's zap damage. Get good, Terrence. The snake, that's a good game. Nice outfit. That's what that is. Against Footloose. I'm going to call him Footloose Librarian. That's not his name, but I, that's what I went with at the beginning. So that's what I'm going to stay with. <laughs> because I can. Give me the feathers. You're giving me the crap I don't want is what you're doing. Come on. I need lockers that give me stuff I need, not the crap ones. So we're at 21. If we win this match, we'll get to 22. Please don't give me a level 10 new kid. I feel like it's going to happen, though, because it happened twice the last time I played on my free-to-play account. And I think I did both those off-camera. Maybe I did one recorded. I don't remember. 
from that first snoozy video, but I'm going to get back to showing a little bit of the free-to-play account to add a little diversity to the channel. Although I really don't play this account that much, I probably need to play a little bit more than I am. But now that I figured out a little bit easier way to transition between accounts, it's going to make this a little bit easier to beat Link Bido. Bido. We're just, we're just going to call her Link since Link is, at least it's a female character right now. You have Grand Wizard Cartman. At these low levels, you're going to decimate my face. Is what's going to happen. Oh, you're charging up. That's not smart. Now I can do this. Power up these rats and Alien Clyde and kill you. So it's going to be one of those players that's like, I have all these legendary cards. My lightning bolt isn't strong enough to kill Stanley Many Moons. Great to know. Absolutely great to know. Hey, in case you guys were wondering, fun fact, my level 1, I think, Lightning Bolt doesn't kill. <laughs> I get in there and decimate face. Of course not. I'm going to do no damage. How do you get that hit? Please salvage something from that. <laughs> salvage something from that for me, Heidi. Thank you for getting that one hit. This is a level 8 new kid that's not playing around, is what Link's not doing right now. Not playing around. Okay. We got that kill. That's what we wanted here. And I need to make quick mincemeat. Let's freeze that up. Get as much damage as we can. Oh! It was not enough damage though. We did kill all this, though. And he's gonna wipe that out. Got Sally here. Oh, I need rats like bad. Heidi, distract. Standing Big Moons is gonna kill me by himself. Oh, but I got butters going. Now you're pulling out Stan the Great? You've been sitting on a level 3 stay in the grate this entire time. You've been sitting on a level 3 stay in the grate this entire time. This entire time you sat on a level 3 stay in the grate. Because you wanted to play your legendary cards the whole time. Like you beat me. So I guess I slightly commend you for that. It was terrible play all around. You sat on that card the entire time. Okay, anyways, moving on to what I, the other thing I want to talk about. The last bundle in the, this last weekend that happened. And this last weekend focused on all the newer cards that have been released. I think the last four or five cards have been released within the game. It had Tally, you had Ink and Greg, you had uh, Robo Bebe, you had Bounty Hunter Kyle, and I think that was it. Maybe there was one more. I don't, I don't even know. I probably do, I'm just, I'm just not remembering correctly. Um... So, the Ink and Craig bundles were garbage. These were terrible. I hope and pray nobody bought these. They were not as expensive as that 4500 pack or whatever it was that I ranted about in a video earlier. But this bundle was terrible. It was not good. As you see, you had, even at the 1200 cash mark, only a 16% chance at Ink and Craig, which I believe is the same amount of chance you had before when Ink and Craig first launched, so it was the exact same percentage at 16%. I'm fairly certain that that's accurate, but it was a higher cost than this one was. So if you're looking at it at a cost value, it was smarter. 10,000 coins is okay. You got no materials, so that sucks. And then you got a chance at, what, uh, 15 cards? 
and a chance to win Ink and Craig in Standing Many Moons, a 16% chance to get one of those cards. Not to get Ink and Craig. I think what then that limits your percentage chance even more by having two legendaries at the 16% chance that they're going to focus on instead of one. Instead of making it ink higher chances of Ink and Craig, you have a higher chance of Ink and Craig and Standing Many Moons. That is dumb. But the cream of the crop of stupidity was if anyone bought this one, the 1500 PvP tickets, if you wasted PvP tickets on this pack, I don't feel bad for you. Because you're stupid. This was a terrible pack. It was arguably, it's the second worst pack I've ever seen behind the $4,500 cash one that was just atrociously terrible. This 1% chance, 1500 PvP tickets, that's maybe not a lot to some of you. If some of you have 30,000 PvP tickets, waste all of them on this crap pack but if some of you are really limited in your pvp tickets because a lot of free-to-play players use the pvp tickets for coins primarily and or the stuff in the shop like the pvp tickets are maybe hard to come by for some of the free-to-play players more so than others if you but again if you had like 20,000 30,000 pvp tickets lying around then dump some money on this but then at the same time every single day had a new card that had an offer that had pvp tickets so this was the last option you had and Cupid Cartman was the other one that I forgot about. I know I know why I'm transitioning back to that, but Cupid Cartman was the other card that had an event offer, but all of them also had PvP ticket offers. So this was the last one. So maybe you were out by that point of the 30,000 ridiculous amount of PvP tickets you had saved up for these offers. Then now you're stuck with this crap 1,501 at a 1% chance, which means, guess what? You're not getting it. You're not getting it. And then you got three rares. Guess what rares you probably got from this? Probably Medicine Woman Sharon. That's probably what you got. Or Barrel Dougie. Those are probably the two that you got. You didn't get a good one. You didn't get, you know, Bebe. Buccaneer Bebe was the only, I think the only, probably the only good rare card. And then maybe Pirate Shatemi. Those two are the only two rare cards from that theme that you probably would generally want. The other ones, you could go, you can give or take. This was awful. I pray that you guys didn't waste money on this because the other ones were still better. At least you had a better chance of getting the Robo Bebe one or even the Bounty Hunter Kyle one because at least in those offers that you spent real money on, you had a guaranteed shot at getting at least three. You got you got three tallies guaranteed with their cash offers and you got three Bounty Hunter Kyles guaranteed with their cash offers. You got 10 Cubic Cartmans guaranteed at 400 cash. I get it. It's, an, it's a legendary card. It's harder to get. It was terrible. Both offers were bad. I mean, the coins were okay, and maybe that would be the only reason why you'd want them. But you sure as heck, you're not getting Ink and Craig, at least not from those two packs. And if you guys did get them, you're the luckiest sons of bitches on the planet. Because these packs were both terrible, and I guarantee you, a vast majority of people that bought them, or spent money on them, did not actually get an Ink and Craig. I feel like a very high, high percentage did not get it if they spent money. And I bet hardly anyone... I'm not saying nobody did, but I bet a very, like, less than 1% probably got him in these PvP packs. Easily, of the people that wasted their PvP tickets on this terrible pack. So, I get the thought process here, Ubisoft and Red Links, with these PvP pack offers. And so, I think you need to do the PvP ticket offers more often, because more of us seem to have a disposable amount of PvP tickets over in-game cash a lot of the times. But make these offers at least somewhat worth our while. And I get for PvP tickets, you're giving up a lot less than you would be giving up in-game cash. So I get that. To have a 1% chance, maybe some of you thought, man, that's a good, those are good odds. But it's really not. So I hope you didn't waste your, I hope you didn't waste your tickets on this. That's all I'm going to say about that. We're done. Just going to wrap up this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We're going to be, again, throwing in some free-to-play account gameplay here on the channel here going forward. I don't have a lot of the cards, so, I mean, you can give me deck suggestions for free-to-play accounts, but I don't really know if I'll be able to really pull them off just because I don't I don't really play the free-to-play account very often. So I don't know how often or how much, how leveled up a lot of my stuff is going to be, but I will keep working at it, keep chipping away at it, and try to at least give better content with the free-to-play account here going forward. But there will be plenty of... Of content coming with the brand new account as again I'm very motivated to continue to make content and plan to keep doing it on a daily basis here I have a schedule for the week in my head of what I want to do uh, so there will be my first collab uh, basically or collaboration video I will be doing in the middle of the week 
with a special guest, essentially. I'm not going to tell you who it is. It is not my fiance, even though she may also end up on the channel again this week as well. So if you guys are excited about that, stay tuned for that as well on the channel. And until next time, guys, my name is Druzy.